Hey everyone, it's Sarah from Nova Scotia. Welcome back to my channel, A Colorful Creations. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm gonna do an acrylic pour for you today. It's gonna be a ring pour. I'm gonna do it on an 18 by 24 inch canvas. I'll show you that next. Um, my paints are mixed how I normally mix them. They're pretty thick for this one. Actually, the most thick I would ever mix. Um, there's a video in the description if you wanna watch that. My recipe is included in there. And if you don't mind, give the video a thumbs up and leave me a comment. YouTube loves that. <laughs> It'll be really helping me out. All right, let's get started. So here we are. I'm working on an 18 by 24 inch canvas. I'm going to use just three colors today to keep it nice and simple. Ultramarine blue, titanium white, and cerulean blue. Now the cerulean blue, I have added a little bit of iridescent pouring medium. I sometimes like to throw in an, an iridescent... Um, on top of paints that aren't iridescent, if that makes sense. Just so that if you have like, if you have a shiny one and a non-shiny one, the shiny one looks more shiny, <laughs> if that makes any sense. Um, I find it works for me. So now I'm doing a ring pour. And for a ring pour, you want your paints to be really thick to make sure that the lines stay nice and crisp and clean. They're pretty thick. It leaves a mound in there. I'm gonna start the cup with white. Uh, whatever you start. Whatever you put in first comes out last, and that is the middle color of your ring pour. So I got the white, um, I'm gonna do the cerulean blue, and I'm doing these pretty thick. I want my um, rings to be thick. The ultramarine blue, they're pretty thick in there. I'm actually wishing I would have made these paints a little thicker now, but they're kind of stuff I already had mixed up. Now I... I think I want some negative space left on this. We'll see. If I fill this cup up the whole way, it's gonna be 16 or 18 ounces, I believe, and that is enough to cover this 18 by 24 canvas. That'll be good. Now, I want to make sure this flows easily. So I have some white here, it's actually a lot thinner than the rest. So I'm gonna use it more as a flow extender. I'm just gonna spread this out over the canvas. Okay, so excited. I normally try to make this come to a spout, but it's pretty full. Here we go, it's tiny little circles. Well, it's not perfect how I ended it, so I'm just gonna fix it up with this thing. This paint knife or anything you can use, just give it a little swirl. I've seen a lot of bubbles. I love these colors. So let's do some tilting. I'm just gonna add a little white paint around the outside. I want this to flow easily, not really lose its composition. Let's have a close look. I'm really happy with how this turned out. I'm not usually a fan of traditional ring pours with the center perfectly symmetrical and circular. I like this. What do you think? The dry result is coming up. For any commissioned work, 
please email me at colorfulcanvascreationsplus at gmail.com. I'll have it on the screen. This would have been the angle that you watched it from. I think it looks better the other way. Yeah, much better. All right, here it is finished. Dry. Isn't that beautiful? I'll show you both ways. It dried so nice. I don't have it on the wall yet, but those colors really showed. Which way do you like it? You can let me know in the comments. I feel like this way might be the best. I don't know. Yeah, maybe this way. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.